So we're here on the site of our 1950s terrace. As you can see, there's a lot happening at the moment. It's very busy on site and there's been a lot of changes since the last time we did an update. You can see particularly with the exteriors of the building. So the shop fronts are all starting to change. The paint is going on, so the colors are all going together and it's really starting to, to look quite different. Fish and chip shop the John's Cafe from Wingate, Norman Cornish's house, and the hairdressers uh, from Middlesbrough. So they're all replicas of buildings uh, from our local region. So the terrace sits on the edge of our existing 1900s town. You'll be able to come through. Because we've used Edwardian buildings, it's not too visually jarring, but as you come in, you'll realize you're definitely in the 1950s. We have one side of the terrace at the moment, and you can see they're very busy doing some of the groundwork, so laying the curbs, and they're gonna start working on the roads. And then we're going to start thinking about what's gonna take place on the other side. So as you come down, it will be a full street. There'll be the terrace on one side and the cinema, and some shops on the other side as well. So we're standing inside the fish and chip shop. So this will house a beautiful redone 1950s chip range and a counter here. You'll be able to come in and get your fish and chips. So the next steps for this building will be for the floor to go in. Uh, we'll be using terracotta tiles, which were originally in this building uh, in Middleton St. George and then finishing up with some of the painting. There's a lovely detail here of some stained glass which actually came out of our collections at the museum. Uh, so we're in John's Cafe here. There's quite a lot going on at the moment, so it's changed quite a bit. The panelling has all gone on the wall, so that's been done by our in-house team. A lot of it came out of the original cafe in Wingate, and then some of it's been replicated across our building. It's just slightly a different size, but you can't tell they've done such a wonderful job. The uh, ceiling has all been done, so there's anaglypto wallpaper on the ceiling, which has uh, replicated what was originally in John's Cafe in Wingate as well. It's all been painted. So we're just getting ready for some of the plaster work to go around the outside. So the ornate plaster work is a copy of what was in the original cafe as well. In Wingate, we took a piece of it out and we're replicating it. And the terrazzo floor will be going down soon in this building as well. So John's Cafe, uh, it was known as John's, it was owned by a chap called Giovanni Paracella and he was known locally as John. Uh, he ran the cafe from the 1950s when they purchased it, but the building was older, it was 1920s. He's very well known in Wingate and ran the cafe through for quite some years. Uh, John was born up in Scotland, but he was uh, of Italian descent and his wife was Italian as well. So the building's still fairly empty, but it's going to start taking shape shortly. Our joinery team are working on the counter, which uh, came out of John, so that's going to go back in its place. So as you come in, you'll see the counter with all the shelving. There'll be the original booths going back in shortly as well. And uh, you'll be able to sit in here and have your food. We're replicating a 1950s menu, and you'll also be able to get ice cream here, and that will be made in a vertical freezer in a traditional way, uh, as it would have been done in the 1950s. Uh, one of the more exciting things going in here will be a jukebox and there was originally a jukebox in John's Cafe and it was quite well known for uh, a gathering place for teenagers so we will be replicating that. It will be going in this building and you'll be able to come along and play your favourite 1950s tunes. So we're standing in the living room of uh, Norman Cornish's house, or 33 Bishop's Close Street. This building is a replica, so the original isn't standing anymore. There are some similar in Spennymoor, but we've copied it from uh, similar buildings. We had all the footprint sizes. So we're in the living room. Quite, it doesn't look like too much has changed, but all the plaster's on the wall. And there's a very exciting thing in this room, which is this fireplace. So this is, a very similar fireplace to what was originally, well, what was in in the 1950s. So the original one was taken out and they were changed in the 50s to these enamel type fireplaces. So the next steps will be some more of the decoration. You can see the paint starting to come together. The wallpaper will be going on all of these walls soon, which will really help bring the room to life. So we're in the main bedroom now of 33 Bishop's Close Street, or Norman Cornish's house. Uh, a little bit is happening, there's been some decoration, but the main feature of the room is this lovely fireplace. So very typical of the period, and it's from our collections as well within the museum. So this is main bedroom, this is your access route through the stairs. There's also an accessible route for people with uh, wheelchairs. And then this is the children's room in the back. So this whole space will be accessible for visitors to come. 
So as we're leaving Norman Cornishes, we're entering just above the hairdressers. You can see that the lift has gone in, so this will allow visitors to be able to come up and see the space. You can come up through the staircase as well, which has been beautifully crafted by our in-house joinery team. And then as you move through, you've got some visitor facilities here and then the art space. So people will be able to come in here uh, and we'll talk about the Spenny Moore settlement and people will be able to do some art in here. So we're standing inside the hairdressers. So this is a replica of a building from Middlesbrough. There's a little bit going on. So you can see that the wainscot panelling has gone on the wall and the colour is starting to go on the wall as well. So this will have a really refreshed 1950s colour palette in it. So some of the next steps happening in this building, once the decoration is done, is that the floor will be laid. It'll be a lovely 1950s lino, and then we'll finish with some of the rest of the uh, decoration, the lighting, and the collections can then start to go into the building.